In this video, we're gonna take a look at some instances where cops messed with the wrong people. Let's get straight into it. In this one, things got intense right from the start as a cop pointed his weapon at a man and shouted at him, telling him to get out of his vehicle. When the man got out, you can just sense that he was fearing for his life. The cop told him to get on his knees and put his hands on top of his head, and the poor man had no other choice but to obey. As the cop was putting him in cuffs, the man mentioned that he was at work, but the cop seemed to ignore that. Get out of the vehicle now! Get out of the vehicle now. Step out of the vehicle. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. Put your hands on top of your head. I'm at work. Put your hands together, you're gonna keep clapping. When the cop placed the man in cuffs, he brought him up and asked him for his ID, to which the man replied that it was in his car. The cop then introduced himself and told him the reason for the stop. Turns out that the man didn't have his seatbelt on, and that was the reason the cop stopped him. The cop also told him that he gave him multiple chances to stop his vehicle, to which the man replied that he was trying to get to a place where he would feel comfortable doing that. That's it up. 224, one detained. Network. Do you have any objection to me searching right now? Uh, yes, sir. You do? Yeah. Okay, do you have any identification on you? Um, he's in my car. Okay, I'm Officer Dupour, Defense Corps Police Department. Yes, sir. The reason I'm stopping you today is because your seatbelt is on. Okay? I gave you multiple chances to stop your vehicle. All right? Well, I was trying to get to a place that I felt comfortable. Okay. The cop then asked him if he owned that vehicle and the man confirmed it and also told him that he was at work and that he has his badge and everything. The cop ignored that and went on to search this guy because he feared for his own safety for some reason. The cop wasn't shouting at the man at this point, but you could just tell that he had something against him. When he was done with searching the man, he told him to take a seat. Work right now. This is your vehicle? Yes, sir. And I'm at work right now. You're at work? Yes, sir. Okay. I got my badge on and everything. Okay. All right, for my safety years, I'm going to pat you down just to make sure you don't have any weapons on you. Okay. Yes, sir. Go ahead and spread your feet apart. Right here? No, right here. Okay, what's right here? Don't reach right there. Oh. Is it okay that I look that up and see? Yeah. That's my okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right, go ahead and take a seat. Unit 224, 10 4. 10 take a seat. Oh. The man then repeated that he was waiting to get to a place where he would feel comfortable to stop, basically telling the cop that he had no intention of fleeing. He also revealed that he was a counselor and that he was going to meet a client. The cop acted all surprised and continued to ask him questions. Before he proceeded to ask him some more questions, he read him his Miranda rights. Yeah, I was just stopping, waiting until I got to a place where I feel comfortable. I'm at, I'm at work right now. I'm going to go see a client right now. Who? Me. I'm at You're work right now. You're at work right now? I'm a counselor. You're a counselor? Yeah. So who's your, do you have a client nearby or what's going yeah. on? Yeah. Okay, before we ask any questions, you must understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before you ask any questions and to have him with you during questioning. You cannot afford a lawyer one will be appointed for you free of charge before any questioning if you wish. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you'll still have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to a lawyer. You'll understand your rights. Miranda. Are you okay, Miranda's with you? No, I'll say. So you cool talking to me? Yeah. When the cop was done with that, the cop asked the man if he was okay with him searching the vehicle, and the man said no. He then went on to explain his reasons why he objected to the search and also told the cop that he didn't understand why he stopped him. The cop then accused him of fleeing, despite the man telling him multiple times that he was just trying to get to a place where he could feel comfortable stopping his car and reminded him that he was on his way to meet a client. So you have no ID on your end? Yeah, it's in my car. It's, it's in your car? Mm -hmm. Okay, do you have any... I got any... my uh, work, my work ID on me. Do you have any objection to me searching your vehicle right now? Oh, yeah. You do? Yeah. Why? Because, for one, um, there's no smell of marijuana or That's, alcohol. I'm number not, one. I'd number never two. mention any drugs. Right, number like two, um, I think, you know, the stop is based on 
I don't even know why you stopped me right now. I, I explained my stop to you, okay? So, yeah, I mean, I object to the search. I mean, I'm, I'm at work. You know, I was leaving Walgreens, and I'm headed to see a client do a session. I'm, I'm okay, a why, why did you Why did you flee from me? I didn't flee. You never I, stopped. I, I was you waiting until I got to a place where I felt comfortable. You never stopped. The man said to the cop that he was at work at that very moment and that he had no reason to flee from the police. He also told him that he has his badge, and the cop asked him if he could see that, and the man had no problem with that. Despite the man being more cooperative, the cop still accused him of fleeing. He then asked the man for his date of birth, and the man told him that without hesitation. So that's the only thing that I'm saying. I, I didn't, I, I'm, I'm, I'm literally at work right now. Like I, I you could have stopped at any moment. I got my work badge on me and everything. Where's your work badge at? Is it's your name and everything on yeah, there? Yeah, it's, it's, it's my name is on there. Mind if I grab that off of you? Yeah, it, you can un unzip. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally at work. <laughs> I have no reason to flee. I'm literally at work. You're the Baptist man? Yep. Why are you, why are you doing this? Doing what? <laughs> Fleeing from the I, police. I didn't flee. I mean, you I was just waiting. I was, I was waiting. I let I got, you up and I hit my sirens. I told you multiple times. I was times. just waiting until I, I told got you to a point where I could, I feel comfortable. That's it. I mean, I'm literally in the middle of work. I have no reason to flee. Like, I'm at work. Like, I call my supervisor right now and I'm on the clock going to see a client because that's what I do. I do community. I'm a counselor. What's your date of birth? 11 5 88. That's how I come to After the cop wrote the man's name and date of birth, he told the man that being at work wasn't an excuse for not stopping when the police signaled. The man repeated that he wasn't fleeing, but the cop was persistent and kept accusing him of fleeing from law enforcement. The man was then trying to explain his reasons to the other officers on the scene, hoping that someone would understand him, but they just stood there doing absolutely nothing about it. What's your middle name? Levante. L-A-V-O-N-T-A-Y. L-A-V-O-N-T-A-Y. Yeah. I'm just at work right now. Yeah. That gives you no excuse to stop when I'm trying to pull you up. No. What, so I, not stop. what I was saying is, I wasn't fleeing. I was just waiting to. That's I got fleeing to from law enforcement. I did not increase my speed. That is fleeing from law enforcement. I did not increase my speed, officer. That okay. does not matter. The only thing that I'm saying is this: I was not fleeing. I'm in. I'm literally at work. I left the moment that I initiated my lights and sirens and told you to stop, you're required to stop for law the, enforcement. The only thing I'm saying, officer, okay. is this: I did not flee. I was waiting till I got to a point where I felt comfortable to stop. That's the only thing. I'm literally at work. I'm, I just left from Walgreens, and I'm headed to go see a client and do a therapy 10, 47, name dead work. That's it. That's the only thing. That I'm, I'm, I'm literally at work right now. So I had no Glass of black comments go. A female officer then agreed with her colleague and told the man that he was supposed to stop at once. The cop who pulled him over told him that he needed his license, registration, and proof of insurance and asked for the man's permission to get those things from his vehicle. The man asked if he could do that, but the cop told him no as he was being detained for fleeing law enforcement. The man tried to argue, but the cop said that he was done arguing about that. Then the female officer asked the man if she could grab the items from his car, and he still said no. T-A-R-A-N, no initial L for Levante, date of birth 11-5-88, black car. Yeah. Cool. But to come this far and not yeah. stop? The only thing I'm saying, hopefully, is that I have no reason to flee. I'm literally at work right now. Literally at work right now. I kid you not. I was actually headed back to the job. I work right around the corner to at Lakeview and Baptist, I was literally finna head right back to work because I gotta go see a client who's been baked right That's it. I okay. Literally have no... I need your license, your registration, your insurance. Do I have okay. permission to enter your vehicle and grab those items? Can, can I get it? No, sir. You're detained right now. You no. fled from law enforcement. I, I didn't. I'm literally at you work. You fled from law enforcement. Can I'm I, not gonna argue with you yeah. about that anymore. Can you grab your license, registration, and proof of insurance? Yes, sir. Yes. Where is it at? Oh, my God. In, in, in my front seat. Just in your front seat? No, I got my license in my wallet, okay. and then I got my, um, the rest of it is in my uh, glove department. Okay. I can grab it. Can he go grab it? Can I go grab it? No, ma'am. The cop proceeded to tell the man that he wasn't going to charge him and told him that he understood that he wasn't feeling comfortable being pulled over in some areas. Then he told him that they were going to frisk the immediate area around the driver's seat in the man's vehicle to verify that there were no weapons there that he could harm him or any of the other officers with. And the man had no other choice but to agree with that. So I'm going to tell you what's going to happen, all right? I'm not going to charge you with fleeing the loot, all right? 
I get it, you might not feel comfortable pulling over in some area, right? When the police lights you up though, you gotta stop, okay? If, if you had just stopped, we wouldn't be where we're at right now. We could have had a friendly conversation. I do that all the time with my traffic stops, okay? What's gonna happen here, for my safety and the officers around us, because we don't know you, you don't know us, I'm going to frisk the immediate area around the driver's seat to verify that there's no weapons that you could harm any of us with, okay? From there, I'm going to release you from your handcuffs, and I'm gonna put you back in your driver's seat, and then we will continue the traffic stop from there, okay? Okay. When he found out that there weren't any weapons in the car, the cop removed the handcuffs from the man and escorted him back to his vehicle. When they arrived, he asked the man to get his license, registration, and proof of insurance from the car. As the man was doing that, the cop asked him about his phone number and the man gave it to him. The cop then told the man that he hates being in situations like these and told him that he should have just stopped. Do you have anything to say to me? No. Simple, man. I'm gonna take this cuff off, just put it down your side, okay? Any the same thing with this thing? Alright, go ahead and get back in the driver's seat. I'll put it back on you. And if I could have your license and registration and insurance now. And then your license. Alright, you can have a seat. It's a good telephone number for you. 850. Uh huh. 529. 529. 4703. Four the situation that we just got put in. I hate being put in that situation. Had you just stopped, this would have been a different conversation. I don't know how often you've ever been pulled over. I don't know what kind of cops you've ever dealt with to make you feel uncomfortable. PPD. The man then repeated to the cop that he had no reason to flee police and told him that he knows for a fact that when a person feels uncomfortable while driving and dealing with law enforcement, they have the right to continue until they get to an area where they feel comfortable. He added that that person can continue to drive as long as they don't increase their speed and begin to drive erratically. The cop had to agree with that, and the man told him that he already talked to the chief about that. Okay, so look. That's why I'm in meeting with top Chief Tommy Lighter right now, really? talking about different ways that we can address it. That's why I'm really? talking to Lieutenant Stephen Bauer about issues just like this, because at the end of the day, I, I'm an up-and-coming leader in this community. I have no reason to defy law enforcement in any way. But what I do know is that, and this is law, I know that when uh, when a person feels uncomfortable when dealing with law for, uh, enforcement when mm -hmm. you're driving, you have the right to continue on until you get to an area where you feel comfortable mm -hmm. before the traffic stop begins. As long as you don't increase your speed, as long as you don't start to drive erratically in any way, you can continue to go. Yes, sir. That's the only thing I'm saying. I just was with that's Lieutenant why Bauer Friday that's why talking about this same thing. Hiccups. That's why you're no you longer understand? in hiccups. I mean... But I'm telling you this now. Say what? Was he at work with you? Or? I, I, I'm, I'm in meetings. I, I, uh, uh, Chief Tommy Light, I'm at meetings. The man completely lost it at that point, and the cop kept insisting that he had the right to pull his firearm on him for not stopping when he signaled him to. The man said that he didn't understand why the cop had to behave that way, and the cop repeated that he feared for his own safety. PPD station, I was just okay. there last week with, with them in the meeting. 
Captain Ola. I mean, this whole thing's in body camera, so it's yeah, fine. Yeah, fine. Yeah, fine. Complaint. But, yeah, but yeah, right. so, aside aside from all that stuff, man, I hate getting put in situations like and this. And I hate being bothered with officers. I, I don't gotcha. have no reason. I got gotcha. you. You can go back and ask these. You can go back and ask your superiors. I have absolutely no reason do you to understand? be around here to do any of that. Do you understand why I'm pulling you over? You said you you a you seat said belt you said you you pulled me over for a seatbelt violation That's when correct. you approached me and pulled your taser out. I drew right? my firearm. Okay, on I'm me. sorry. When you drew the firearm on me, yes, sir. I couldn't even get out the car because I had to unbutton my seat. I gave so you, I don't, I I gave don't you time to do so. I don't I don't understand that. I don't understand that. I just don't understand it. You saying you pulled me over for a seatbelt violation? There's hundreds of scenarios that would have gone this way that law enforcement officers well, have been I, killed I mean, in the line of duty. At, at the end of the day, officer, don't nobody understand law enforcement more. I do. The man once again explained everything to the cop and he finally understood, but he still wrote him a ticket for not having a seatbelt on. The man tried to argue with that, but he soon realized that this cop already made up his mind, so he decided to let it go. Okay. I done did, I done did, I, I know, I'm at tables, I'm at me talking about these very same issues, okay? okay? So, at the end of the day, I mean, I hear what you're saying, but I still feel how I feel. I know. You know? But and doing doing what you do puts us at a tight bar. Like I said, you can you can go and ask Lieutenant Bow, you can go ask any of them. I don't put law enforcement in no bad spot to where they feel like their life is in danger or anything. But at the end of the day, I'm saying it on camera, I'm saying to anybody. At the end of the day, if law enforcement light me up, I'm going to continue to drive slow at a slow pace until I get to a place I feel comfortable getting out so the traffic stop can, can take place. Okay. So if I got to go to jail on that or, or stand before a judge or on anything, that's what I'm going to do. I ain't, got no, I ain't got time to be around here running from law. I'm finna go see a client right now, do therapy. Okay. You think I gotta be, I'm got time to run from y'all for what? I'm legit, I got license, I got insurance, okay. everything. Okay. All right, there's all of your items back. So look, I'm citing you today for the seatbelt. $116 fine, you have 30 days to take care of it. All of your options are highlighted and listed on the back, okay? What I don't understand is how are you giving me a seatbelt ticket when you drew your firearm and ordered me to get out the car? You did not have a seatbelt on when I initiated my lights and sirens. That's the purpose of the stop. No. You... If you if you have any objection to this, yeah, you can you. exercise your second option and take yeah. this to court. Right. Okay? Right. You have every right to that. Right. Besides that, I have no other reason to talk to you any longer. You're free to leave. I bet I am. You have a good rest of your day, sir. A cop was harassing a man, asking him for his driver's license, even though he was riding a bicycle, which is why the man immediately asked for his sergeant. He also cited a law that says that he doesn't need to give him his ID unless he committed a crime. The cop said that he stopped the man because he was riding a motorized bicycle, and the man just asked him if he was mad because of his First Amendment right and told him once again to call his sergeant. Did you know that? Yeah, actually I am. Do you have a I'm driver's right. license? No, you don't have to. It's an ADCC bicycle and you surf. Sir, you do have to have a driver's license. No, you need to get your, you need to get a sergeant out here. I'm Ebo Rob. I'm the biggest activist in Tampa. Okay. Listen. Do me a favor, have your ID or a driver's license, sir. Listen, you're live right now I'm, on YouTube. That's fine. I need your watch commander. Okay. I don't have to give you my ID. 901.151 says I don't have to give you my ID. I haven't committed a crime. Okay. You're wrong about this. Can I ask you a question? Is that motorized? Sure is. Okay. So, are you going to talk to me? Are you allowed to ride a bicycle on the road? Sir, it's motorized. It is a bicycle. Sir, when you drove by me, it's motorized. Are you mad about my First Amendment right to say something? I'm not mad about anything. There you are. I'm conducting a lawful traffic stop on you. Well, I actually need to get your watch commander. You don't know who I am. You're judging Sir, me. I'm not judging you at all. You're operating a motorized vehicle okay. on a roadway. Listen, I know the law better than you. Okay. Please get Do you your... have a driver's license, sir? No, I don't have a driver's license. I don't have Do to. Do you have an ID, sir? I'm trying to make this easy. Do you have an ID? 901.151 says I don't have to give my ID unless I'm in, I've committed a crime or in the commission of a crime. The cop kept insisting to see this man's license or ID, but the man told him that he was only going to give that to the sergeant if he could prove that this was a lawful stop. He then asked the cop if he committed any traffic infraction, but the cop just kept going on and on about the man not having his license. The man had to remind him that he hadn't committed any crime, and he also refused to tell the cop his name. It doesn't matter what my name is, you're mad about my First Amendment right. I'm, Get your watch, I'm, Commander. I'm not mad at all, sir. Who's your corporal today? My corporal is Steve Steiner. You need to call this in right now, or else you're violating your policy. Sir, you can get I will give you my ID when your sergeant comes and says that this is lawful. You're wrong about this. Okay. You're wrong. Let you're wrong. You so look, it's okay. motorized, right? It has a motor on it. And you're operating on a roadway. What's am your I, deal? Am I wrong? Did I commit a traffic infraction? Yes. No, I haven't. If you don't have a driver's license and you don't have You're a wrong license, about this. You're you're wrong. Tell me what statute I'm right about that. Listen, 
I don't have to tell you what statute. Listen, I don't have to talk to cops no more. Okay? It, it's my Fifth Amendment right to stop right now because you don't know the law. Listen, I haven't committed a crime. I haven't committed a... All I'm doing is freely traveling on the road on a bicycle with a motor on it. It is a motorized bicycle just like an electric bike. Stop me harassing me. Name, You'll get my name. Call your watch commander. That's not going to change you. What do you need my name for? I just told you, sir. It's a lawful traffic stop. You're operating... I have not committed a crime, so now you've stopped me for no... Qualified immunity is off the table at this time for you, sir. The next thing you know, the sheriff arrives at the scene, and the man told him everything he just told his colleague. He explained very clearly that he was riding his bike at the normal speed, and that he didn't need to provide his ID to the cop because he didn't do anything wrong. He also told him that he had quite a lot of experience with cops as he had been doing cop watches for a while. Sir, I was about to turn around and do a cop watch. He said that I'm not allowed to operate an 80cc bicycle engine, which that's what it says if he wants to go around the other side. I'm allowed to ride my bicycle on the street. He's mad that I rode by, okay? And I said, man, F you, because he was looking at me crazy. I'm allowed to do that. I'm riding on the street. I don't have to give my ID because 901.151 says I don't have to provide my ID unless I'm in the commission of a crime or being accused of a crime. This is not a lawful traffic stop, so therefore I can't provide ID. I do this every day. This is what I do, sir. What's your name and badge number? Schneider. Corporal Schneider. Do you know who Ebor Rob is? You ever heard of that guy? Films the cops? Okay, well, that's all you're going to get from me. I'm Ebor Rob. If you guys were smart enough, you'd type it in and be like, oh. But this guy's wanting to give me a hassle about an 80cc bicycle engine. Listen. It's, it goes 20 miles an hour, I'm allowed to ride it. I, you haven't given me no law. No, you haven't, sir. Are you filming since I got her? Listen. Do you have master identification or your name multiple times? Listen, it, this is not Nazi Germany. You can't just stop somebody. This is not a stop and ID. The stop and frisk law is 901.151. Yeah. Hey, guys. Why is he trying to get my ID for riding a motorized bicycle, man? What, what traffic infraction have I committed? Is he gonna make one up? All he said is I'm not allowed to ride it on the road. Listen, you asked me the question, I gave you an answer. Well, I, I'm the one to ask for you. I, I gave you the answer that I can give you. Sir, can I get some respect? Is it because I got a shirt on my head because I'm riding my bike and want a shirt on my head? Yeah, man. I'm not riding a v Listen, I'm allowed to ride a, a motorized bicycle. Motorized bicycles like electric and gas do not... Yeah, please do, man, because he doesn't know the law. The man then continued saying that he wasn't going to give up his rights. He also told the sheriff that the cop couldn't even tell him the reason for the stop. Then we learned the cop was actually mad because the man flipped him off even though he's allowed to do that. The man then told the sheriff that he's an activist and that he films cops and does First Amendment audits. He also didn't miss the opportunity to tell these cops that they don't know the law. When the cop who stopped him showed up again and tried to argue, the man told him that they were going to go to court. He also told him that he wasn't going to pay any citation, but the sheriff told him that they were just going to give him a written warning. The man wanted to know what the warning was for and the cops couldn't even say what. The rest of the video was just this man completely owning the cops and showing that, unlike them, he actually knows the law. How can I sit back and relax? You guys, listen, it's not that hard. Look up Evil Rob, you're going to get my real name. I'm not trying to conceal my name. I'm just not going to give up my rights when I haven't committed a crime or a lawful trap. He says, he can't even tell me what he pulled me over for. He just wants my ID. He asked me, what did I say when we rode by? I said, I said, fuck you. I'm allowed to. He's mad I said, fuck you. I'm a First Amendment activist. What do you think I do all day? What do you think I do all day? I film cops. I do First Amendment audits. I pull up on cop watches all day. Hillsborough County. Tampa police. All day long. You guys don't know the law. That means you can't buy uh, electric bicycles online? Wow. Guys, this guy doesn't know the law. Electric bikes go faster. If you guys are smart, you know that. Electric bikes go 40, man. I don't have to give him my ID. He just wants my name because he wants to be a Nazi because I said the F word to him. Yeah, hey, that's fine. We're not hiding anything. I mean, we're not hiding anything. I don't have to say yes or no. Okay, we're go and we're going to go to court because I'm allowed to do this. Listen, I'm allowed... And I'm... No... Hey, I'm not paying no citations. It's not a citation, it's a written warning. A written warning for what? To not freely travel on the street? You can't ride on the sidewalk, man. You got, you got, these guys are a joke, guys. 
Look what these guys are doing. He's mad that I said the F word, but I, hey, I, I do this every day to see what your guys' reaction is, and you guys are fucking sorry, man. You guys are gonna give me a written warning for what? You know what, man? Have I committed a crime? Have I committed a crime? Am I detained? Am I detained? For a crime? What traffic infraction did, did I violate? Yeah, I'm operating a, a motor, a bicycle with an engine. You guys don't know the law. No, you don't. As soon as a cop got out of his car and started approaching, the guy had to warn him not to lay his hands on him as he was streaming live. As the cop was approaching, the guy told him that he was 17 years old and that he could talk to his family as he lived in the same street. When the cop told him that he got a call about him, the guy said that he understood that, but told him that suspicion isn't a crime. He also told the cop that the cop had to tell him what he had done before he could ask for his ID. As another cop was approaching, the guy asked him if he was being detained, and after a bit of hesitating, they told him that he was being detained and asked for his driver's license, to which the guy replied that he didn't have it with him as he didn't drive. This is live. Just let you. No, I don't. What am I being? What? Why? Okay. Just. Oh, is it suspicious? Okay. Suspicious of what? Of what? No, you step closer to me. You honestly, I live at 166. You want to talk to anybody? You can talk to my family. I am not even old enough to talk to you. 17. Well, okay. You can't do nothing. No, you can't. You can't do anything. You can't do anything, sir. Okay, I understand they call, but suspicion is not a crime. Suspicion is not a crime. You have to tell me what I have done before you can even ID me. I know my rights. I know my rights. I don't care. Am I being detained? Am I being detained? Am I being detained? You answer me. You answer me. I get answered first. Yes, I do. I'm the citizen here. I'm the citizen. Am I being detained? Okay, thank you. That's all you had to answer. I don't have it with me. I don't drive. I don't have it with me. The guy also added that they couldn't touch him as he was protected, adding that if they laid their hands on him, he was going to sue the state. The next thing you know, the female officer was accusing him of being hostile, to which he replied that he felt threatened. She then revealed that they got a call about him videotaping, and he just asked her if that was a crime. She didn't bother to answer that and just said that they were going to have problems. Then the first cop swooped in and basically told the kid to shut up and do everything he wanted him to, because if he didn't, he would have to arrest him. The kid told him that he couldn't talk to him like that, but the cop just ignored him and put him in cuffs, which is when the kid can be heard saying that he was gonna sue them. Don't have to give it. I do not have to give it. I am protected. Protected. You can crack your knuckles and touch me, I don't care. You touch me, you're going, you're, you're, both of y'all be done. I will Stop sue State. I'm not being hostile. You are being hostile. I'm not being hostile. being hostile with you. Listen. Well, you won't let me go home. That's being hostile. I am threatened. Okay. I feel threatened. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay. However, we got a call. We have a legal reason to be here about you videotaping. And that's, and that's crime? And that's, no, oh, suspicion of, okay, is that a crime? Suspicious is a crime? You suspicion is a crime. Okay, let's talk over me one more time. You can't do anything. We're going to have some problems. Okay. I don't care. All right, cool, and I'll be out tomorrow. Because guess what? Y'all have no right to take me anywhere. Thank you. Listen, you got two seconds. I'm going to put you in wood line. You understand me? We got a call. Somebody called. Second. That doesn't Check matter. You Just don't talk to me like that. I'm, you're pissing me off because you're not, you're not listening. We got a call. Somebody called saying you're filming walking down the street. Okay, that's okay, law. Okay, we got a call, which gives us the right to identify you. And if you refuse to identify us, suspicion is not. Because we got. Oh, you can go home. You can go to my house and get it. Because we got a legal right. You can go talk Somebody to my parents. Oh, I can sit right here. Okay, yeah. After you identify nope. yourself. Number five. I ain't gonna say nothing. Okay, what's your first name? I ain't gonna say anything. Don't tell me your name. I'm gonna put you in jail first. Go ahead. Okay, your name, right? Yes, sir. And you better go to 166 okay. and tell them what happened. You better. You don't have to go to your parents. Yes, you do. You're 17 year old and you're an adult. Well, guess what? If you don't, the whole fucking mm -hmm. city's getting 